We visited the Montes Universales in eastern Spain with green wings at the end of July 2019. Albarracín was our base for the entire trip and is supposedly the most beautiful town in Spain. A believable supposition when looking out over these views from your balcony every morning. Our first stop off was a dry riverbed that we explored on our first full day out. The only sound was the buzzing of insects as we watched large Samodromus lizards warming up in the extremely pleasant sunshine. Butterflies here included the diminutive southern marbled skipper and the much sought after southern hermit. Other species of this habitat that were new to me were black satire and Oberthur's anomalous blue. Another species I hadn't seen before was the southern gatekeeper, which was very common in this arid landscape but difficult to find when its wings were closed. With wings open it is much more obvious. Along the rivers we found some excellent muddy areas where thousands of butterflies could be seen puddling on the wet ground. I spent long periods scouring these sites, checking out which species were present. These are mostly Spanish Chalk Hill Blues, with smaller numbers of Oberthur's Anomalous Blues amongst them. Common Blue and Chapman's Blue were also present in small numbers. This beautiful Mother of Pearl Blue was found on the first full day puddling beside the river Guadalavia. The first port of call on day two was the small riverine valley where lush vegetation was plentiful. The damp areas of ground attracted many butterflies including these beautiful Spanish swallowtails. The first Iberian sooty copper of the holiday was found perched among the dried grasses alongside the stream. Later in the afternoon of day two we visited the mountain top with its spectacular views. On the high windy summit were hill topping swallowtails and one or two southern mountain argus. Southern brown argus, for comparison, were also found below the summit in the surrounding meadows. Meadows bordered by woodland was our first stop on day three, where careful scrutiny revealed Esper's marbled white. Down in the grass alongside the hundreds of great banded and rock railings, the shiny jewel-like azure chalk hill blue could be found. The brilliant blue males were accompanied by their duller brown partners. The Spanish chestnut heath was another beauty found sheltering amongst the grass stems. Once warmed up in the sunshine, false graylings appeared in good numbers, nectaring on scabious flowers. Striking male damon blues were often found nectaring on field eringo, which seemed to be the main source of food in the dry meadows. This plant had also attracted at least four Iberian sooty coppers. Before our packed lunch we checked out some water troughs where Dave, our leader, made an excellent find of a male nettle tree butterfly and worn Provence chalk hill blues were also suspected to be present. Day 4 found us on a dry hillside where a gorgeous dusky heath was my highlight of the area. Dave found the first Zapata's ringlet which refused to open its wings in the shade of the bushes. The second site of the day was a mountain top known to be the only place where Spanish Argus can be found in the Montes Universales. We searched the meadows that afternoon and the following morning. Here some interesting species like this large grizzled skipper and Panoptes blue were discovered.
the main target here was Zapata's ringlet. The afternoon of the last day was spent clambering down to the Ojos del Cabriel, where I found a single Spanish purple hair streak. The morning of our departure was spent reacquainting ourselves with the butterflies of the Brambler, including the numerous Spanish Chalk Hill Blues and unobtrusive tree graylings. Striped graylings seem to be present in greater numbers than during our initial visit here. Southern hermits remained active in the beautiful and quiet rambler. I really enjoyed my first group trip thanks to great leadership and pleasant company, not to mention the excellent butterflies. <laughs>